What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're we'll going to be checking out these Titan Chain D-Link ladder pattern chains on our 2012 Ram 1500. Now these are heavy duty chains, you can see how thick the D-Link chains are there and it's going to be good to break up that ice as you're driving down the road and moderate amount of snow. So they're not the most aggressive ones and they're going to be, you're going to feel them on your tire but they really are, that's the space that these D-Links are going to dig in there and get that traction you wouldn't be able to get without them. Let's check them out. You heard me say D-link chains and ladder pattern. What does that mean? You can see the D-link shape here on the chains and they're nice and big and thick here too. So you can see how they actually do sit on that ice when they go underneath the tire, push down, break in and get that traction that they can get. The ladder pattern name comes from how they go across your tire. You can just see they go and a layered pattern, like I said, across the tire. This versus there's diamond patterns and other ones like that. But this one is good for starts and stops. So that's gonna really help when you have to hit the brakes for some reason at a stop sign. It's gonna dig in there, help you do that. And then also help you take off from that stop sign. So we all know when you slide to the stop, sometimes you go to hit the gas, you're not gonna exactly get on the road right away. The whole chain is made out of a manganese nickel alloy, so it's gonna hold up to the elements like the snow and ice and even the salt that's gonna be on the road that you're driving through, so you won't have to worry about them having any damage from that. Now, they come in a quantity of two, and they're gonna come in this canvas bag. I recommend getting a plastic tub instead. These bags don't last very long, to be honest with you, especially these heavy duty, heavy chains. It's not gonna take long for it to rip through there or have a problem, and then you're gonna lose a chain when you're trying to use it. It's just gonna be frustrating. So I, I recommend getting a plastic tub, putting them in there, sealing it up. That way it's nice and contained and they aren't all sprawled out, taking up a bunch of space in the back of your truck. Now we talked about what they're for and how useful they are, how hard are they to install. It's not so bad. Let's check out how I did it. First step you're gonna to wanna to do is lay your chains out make sure there's no twists or breaks in the chains. Looks like it's all laid out pretty nicely right here. No issues. You just wanna make sure before you go throw it on your tire that it's fine here on the ground. Now. Another thing to look at is make sure that the lever here is on the outside. So when you drape it on the tire, it's going to be on the front of the tire so you can connect it. And so the same goes for these. You want to make sure that this part goes on the tire. You don't want the hooks digging into the tire. You want them on the other side. So I'm going to grab it here by the center and drape it over the tire. Kind of get a better hold on it and just set them across. And with it sorted out, you can go around the back side and make that connection. Along the back side here, we'll put the hook to this open link. Looks like it's going to be a little loose still, so I'm going to go to the second link to get some of that tightness out of there, and then we'll go back up front. So now we're gonna take our lever here and put it probably through the third chain so to get some more tightness to it. And a good thing to do while you're doing that is move your chain, your extra link to the bottom of it. That way it doesn't get in the way when you go to take that tension out. We'll slide to the bottom, kind of bring it back. And you see with this chain down here, it's out of the way, it's not up there. And we'll attach it to our free link there. And now they're nice and tight. And now if you want to just add a little bit more tightness to it, it's good to do since you're going to be driving down the road. We recommend getting a rubber adjuster. You can buy that separately. And what it's going to do is just attach to these points on the chain and kind of bring it to the center and hold it tight. You can see with that installed there, even less than there was before. I'll pull on them. They're pretty tight, so I'm not going to worry about these coming loose. With them installed, I suggest go ahead and drive forward and backwards a little bit, getting out, checking them, make sure they stay in the center of the tire, all around the tire, but these are pretty tight. I don't see these going anywhere. You should be just fine. Well, thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped.